This tutorial will discuss the advanced search page. With over 2,000 products in our database, we needed to develop an easy way to access all of this information. Now before going into it, let's first find out how we can access it. The advanced search option is always accessible within the simple search tables. Either here, or here. Because the different databases have different parameters, each database has its own unique advanced search page. Within this demo, we will be using the SoftLens database. But note, all five databases function in the exact same way. At the top of every advanced search page, you will find search options. There are literally dozens to choose from. By clicking an option, a window opens allowing you to refine your search. As selections are made, scroll down to see your results. The more specific your selections, the narrower your result. Go back and forth until you find your desired product. There are three types of searches within the advanced search pages. The first one, standard sliders. Here is an example looking at DK. The second, power sliders. An example here with sphere power. And the third type, check boxes. An example here with wearing schedule. Standard sliders can be identified by bars that have two arrows to select from. This option allows a user to select a range of values, like when you're looking for something between two parameters. Examples of this would include when looking for a base curve or diameter, possibly the pupa diameter of a tinted lens. Or what about replacement schedule? For instance, want to find a soft lens that is replaced between three and six months? Power sliders can be identified by bars that have one arrow to select from. This option allows a user to find quote-unquote greater than values. You can see this option when selecting sphere, torque, and multifocal powers. Let's say you're looking for a torque lens that corrects greater than minus 3. Move the slider up to reflect that value. The last search option are checkboxes. These options enable a user to select from predetermined values. For instance, selecting lens type allows you to choose between conventional, daily, or disposable lenses. Choosing availability allows you to choose between available and discontinued lenses. Choosing lens marking allows you to look at the different images and the different markings and making a choice from there. Note the AND and OR button next to the category of the checkboxes. This is a new feature that allows users to change the query further refining their search. This option is here when a user wants to check more than one value. It works like this. Selecting OR always broadens a search as it returns values that contain either value selected, and selecting AND always narrows a search as it only returns the results that share both values. For example, let's look at wearing schedule. We're going to check OR. Now clicking daily wear, you can see this result. Then let's go back and click extended wear. Now we have this result. Note how the number has increased. This is because the query has now returned all lenses that are listed as daily wear or extended wear. But now look what happens when we select AND. The number has decreased. This number is now lower because we are viewing lenses that are listed as being both daily wear and extended wear. Finally, we have the made to order option. This option allows users to further narrow the results returned by specifying if it's okay to return products that are only custom made. 